Hi, everybody. This is Matthew Pose with Pose Acoustics. And in this one, Simpson Bergman, 2185, has a question. He gave $2. Thanks for these videos. And uh, then he said, I guess for stereo systems, not home theaters, it would make sense to do everything in mini DSP, especially when not using any AVR. Direct live bass control is something I'd like to try, but the mini DSP doesn't have that yet. I'm thinking of running through a computer, then using a multi-channel DAC for left, right, and multiple subwoofers. So... Simpson, I'm going to ask you a question that I'm really asking to the entire audience because I I talk to the person who develops many of the basic principles that um, is being used in direct bass control. It's used by Harmon in their sound field management. And that is, the purpose of that was to make bass better in multiple seats. It was not to make bass better, period. It was already possible to make bass really good in one seat. The problem was also making it good in other seats. If we're talking about a stereo system, how in, how many other people are listening to stereo with you? You know, movies are something that are commonly a social event. It, I think listening to music used to be a social event, but most people I know who listen to two-channel music are not inviting people over for that. It's kind of a one-on-one -on -one thing. Maybe I'm misinterpreting what you're doing. Maybe you are. But if it is just you, I'm wondering if you're putting too much emphasis into the technology and not enough into the basic principles, and that actually what you are looking for is achievable without any of these tools. And I worry that going the route you want to go could complicate things for you in a way that's harder to use and less enjoyable with no real benefit. So when I talk to Todd Welty, for instance, he'll sometimes say that he'll get into a whole deep conversation about the multi-sub approach and the optimization and then come to realize the person has like one chair. Or maybe they have two or three chairs, but the others are un completely unimportant. Like there's one position that needs to be optimized. Then he's like, oh, all of this doesn't matter. You're, you're barking up the wrong tree. So I, I wonder if in this example, speaking about two channel, if we're talking about the same thing, I wonder if a mini DSP being used for bass management with subs in, in your mains for a two-channel setup doesn't need any more tools. Direct Live could still be useful. And Direct Live with bass control may automate something you can do manually for you that's useful. But actually, one or two subwoofers could be optimized in a system for one seating position just fine. And so it makes me kind of question if you need to do anything more than that. There's nothing wrong. I mean, I, I advocate for this sometimes. There's nothing wrong with four subs in a stereo system um, being used in an optimal fashion. The, the one reason why that can be good is if you don't have the flexibility to optimize the position of the subwoofer or subwoofers together to get really good uh, frequency response in this one seat that you're trying to optimize for, sometimes four subwoofers does make it easier where you put them in the four corners and then the one bad seat becomes a good seat. Um, but the other thing to look at is seat. If, if it's a stereo system and all you really care about is this one seat, try moving the seat. And before you move the seat, all you have to do is take the microphone and move it to different positions. In my own room, even here, if I go to one or two subwoofers, this is not a great seat. But if I move a little bit forward or behind it, it becomes a better seat. And there are particular positions that are optimal. And then moving the subwoofers around can further optimize that. So I would focus on seat placement and subwoofer placement first for stereo. Get that right. Use the, the mini DSP then would be a, a wonderful platform, especially if you're using the new Flex, which has much better ADDA converters in it. Um, so use that then to optimize the integration. That's still really critical. So time alignment and phase amplitude integration still are fully critical. But the rest of the features that are what make direct live bass control special are not that critical for stereo unless you're really trying to optimize for a range of seats. And like I said, I'm just not used to people who are like, I want to have two rows of three seats. I want to have six people listen to stereo music with me. Like I've just, I don't do that. At best, it's one other person who happens to share as much passion as I have. So Simpson, I hope that was helpful. Um, that's my take on this for others who are, who are watching this and what this is for. The donation is appreciated and um, the, the time uh, that you all take to watch these videos is great. Like and subscribe little bit of extra time helps make the channel more popular and uh, improves how many people get to see these videos. So thank you very much. I got more coming.